How's it guys? Welcome back. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing now is I see the Ferrari Essentials pack has now launched. So coming out of that uh, 4 gig update that ran uh, yesterday, uh, we've now upgraded to Project Cars version 7. This amazing Ferrari Essentials pack has now been released. Just looking at the home screen, it says that there's two new tracks, eight vehicles, there's six career invitational events, access to Ferrari Essentials related community events, and new community and esports libraries. What I'm going to do is let's go check out these new tracks, go through the actual cars and test drive them on this new track. But we're looking at the likes of the Ferrari F355 Challenge. It is the S12 BBLM. You've got the 250 GT Berlinetta, the 250 Testa Rossa, you've got the F40, we've got the 458 Special Aporte, the F12 TDF, and then the FXXK. Let's go have a ride. So just want to jump into the tracks quickly just to see which tracks have provided us. The first one we got is Pizza di Fiorano. I hope I'm saying that right. This track is owned by Ferrari and they built it for the development and testing purposes. It is located in the province of Modena and near the Italian town of Marinello. Built in 1972, has 12 turns and is just under 3 kilometers long. So having a look at the second track that we've been provided, we got the Mugello circuit. There are two derivatives that have been provided to us. We have the GP version and the short version. So the circuit is in Tuscany in Italy is 5.2 kilometers long, has 14 turns with the longest straight of 1.141 kilometers. It is a stadium uh, circuit and has a capacity of 50,000 people. The MotoGP race here, as well as the German Touring Car Masters, as well as having Scuderia Ferrari using this track to testing their Formula 1. So here's the plan. I'm going to take the La Ferrari, we're going to go to the Mugello short track. I'm going to set a baseline so they have something to compare the other cars to. So as we're doing the other cars, I can then compare to what I'm feeling in the car, how it's accelerating, what the steering is doing. But without a base, I can't really do anything. Let's get cracking. So anytime I'm in a situation where I am forced no tuning, I'll always take the loose setup. So what I'll do is I'll run the loose for all the cars going forward from here. All right, let's set the baseline in the La Ferrari. So I was pretty cautious on the brakes there. Just remember that I don't have ABS, so I have to be quite cautious on the brake. A little bit of lock up, but we can control that with the back coming out. Well, so this car is extremely snappy. Because this will have its built-in curves. Steering is quite heavy, but at least it actually does turn. So to touch the brakes to get the nose turned in, and then cautious on the power. Hear that understeer as it come back into the main straight. We can put the power back on, but I'd say pretty controllable. And we'll cross the line and see what the time we have. So we got a 10. 2.258 that's pretty decent I reckon okay so car number one of the pack oh bad start but not as aggressive coming off the line we're in the the F55 challenge so we definitely don't have as much straight line speed as the La Ferrari but let's just Much more manageable with the throttle, that's for sure. And I'd say a lot more controllable in terms of the front end grip. We can really put that power on quite aggressively coming through that apex. 
little lock up of the brakes there. But we can get that rear to snap out on you nicely. Get that power on and really a lot more controllable. I think I went a little bit too slow there. You can see that rear just snapping out. Let's change down. There's the runoff that I actually was looking for. But oh, nice stable feeling car. I love that sound. Let's just see where it puts us in terms of that lap time. So as you can see, it's at least seven seconds slower. Take into consideration that it ran a bit wide, didn't quite hit that throttle um, going into that second last corner. But pretty cool car to drive. So in the introduction, I did say that this was an S12 BBLM. I do apologize. It is the 512 BBLM. Okay, the 512. Let's see how this one goes. So quite sluggish off the line. Maybe I don't have any ABS or traction control on, on the cars. Let's go to the brakes. So as I hit those brakes, the car just started swerving left and right. But quite controllable once you've actually lined the car up and put that power back on. So it actually does turn in quite nicely. Let's see if we can power on now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So got a nice feeling to the throttle. This is there, the brakes, you can see that. I actually was fighting that quite hard. Down this little hill section, do a little tap of the brakes, get it turned in, a little bit of a oversteer there. And now it doesn't turn. So I'd say quite heavy, a little bit sluggish, but okay to drive. So we have this at a 105.56 and a 1. So we're looking at four seconds slower than the LaFerrari. So we're in the Berlinetta. Great sounding car. You can almost hear that mechanical change. And I know it's going to be very snappy as I go into the brakes. The rear is going to want to come out on me. But we can add some power, turn it back in. Oh, that is extremely fun. Let's get the nose turned in again. Let the rear come around. Back on that power. That is so awesome. Go hold the brakes. This corner is a little bit trickier. But you're going to have a, another sensor that rear is going to snap out. Back on that power. A little bit of a counter steer. So we've just got to be careful coming down the hill. Don't want the rear to overtake me as I go down. So we'll just get that power on a little bit. Have a little change down. Back on that power. That is such a fun car to drive. Just the sound. I see myself in this quite often. Let's just have a quick see to see what the time is. So obviously we expected it to be slow. With a 113, an 060, but boy, is that fun! Let's head on to the Testarossa. Okay, we're in the 250 Testarossa, also a vintage touring car class car. Love this open air. The view in this car is quite phenomenal. You can see all the fuse boxes and all that sort of thing with that center rear view mirror. You can come quite hard on the brakes. Just correct that understeer with a bit of a throttle which helps the rear come around. I'd say it might actually be a feel a little bit more aggressive than the, the Berlinetta. I think this one's way more fun. It does feel lighter, so you're able to throw it around a little bit more. A 
down the hill, just going to do the same, just touch the brakes, get the nose to turn in, back on the power, again just touch that nose, get the rear coming around, and power, oh, this thing is actually more of a beast, and across the line, so definitely lighter, feels like there's a lot more power, but that just might be the power to weight ratio, and we did it in a, a one minute 11 point 60 and a one so that's two seconds faster than the Berlinetta so the next car is the F40 I'm sure every 80s and 90s kids had this car up on the wall and from previous racing games I've driven that so there's always this very late turbo boost but once that turbo kicks in you can just hear it spooling in the background see what this does in the brakes so it doesn't like turning let's see if we give it a bit more power that there's just so much lag it actually doesn't help bring the rear around let's just go down the gear so help us through this section let's see if i can get this power on to get the rear back no all it's doing is just under steering but we all forgive it just for that, that sound of that turbo spooling up so that car did not like being braked like that let's just get the power back up down this hill section, I'm just going to slightly touch the brakes, get the nose to turn in. Then, okay, just touch the brakes, whoa, big power slide. We'll just change on and race across the line just to see how this car is done. And we cross the line. 107, 86 and an O. That actually beat the F355. Nice. Oh, that sound. So we're in the 458 special. Absolutely loving this topless version of the car. A break where we break broke with the LaFerrari. It's a little bit more manageable in terms of not having that rear snap out on you you can see those tires are really fighting to keep up with the power it's a pretty similar feel to the the LaFerrari but the LaFerrari has a lot more power and as I say they overcooked the brakes So loving that, revving it to 9,000. I'll just touch the brakes here, get it turned in. Well, that grass helped the rear come around so we can get the power down back on this back straight. The LED lights rev limiter on the dash is phenomenal and we cross the line. Let's see how this one fared. Surprising, a 106080. F12 a TDF now I decided to just short shift that because that might have spun for another three seconds so brake by the LaFerrari but this car is very heavy let's add a bit of power to get the rear around the car is heavy so I'm going to come onto the brakes a bit earlier See it's under steering, not enough space to get that rear snapping around. But now we can unleash all those horses. Massive understeer. Into an oversteer. Good catch. Look down this hill. Let's see if we can get this car turned in for the last time. extremely difficult car it's heavy it understeers but when you get that power in boy does it want to come around let's just see how we did in the left time so 104 600 that puts it quicker than the 355 as well as the f40 and the special now the one i've been waiting for 
the FXXK. Wow. So let's hit LaFerrari braking marker. So this car sounds amazing, it's quite light and the throttle, while it's crazy, it's actually quite manageable. Oh, a little lock up there, let's get this car around, get that power on. Managed to catch it, let's touch those brakes, get it turning in. Last corner. that happened so quickly I can't even tell you what the time was wow 57.7 that is a four seconds quicker than the LaFerrari and I think I found my new favorite Ferrari so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the Ferrari essentials pack if you did like it please give us a like and subscribe and be sure to check out our soccer championship racing highlights packages races coming to you soon thanks for watching